In this episode, this cow insists on dirtying our crush. We find out what punctured this hoof at... <laughs> and we try and work with this rather noisy bull. Good morning folks, Gareth here and welcome to Tech TV. I'm just closing up the container, the tools are in the van and uh, I'm heading off this morning to do a bull. Um, this is a bull that I do once a year and uh, the last time I was doing him we had great difficulty getting him in. He's quite excitable. So I really don't really want to be getting into a row this morning with with a bull. Um, it's a bit like getting into a row with the wife. I never win. <laughs> Only joking Naomi. So uh, the bull's about 20 minutes away so the van's packed up and uh, I've got my Beachbody, Beachbody 2022 training has started. So I've got my banana with me, healthy eating from here on in. So I'll head on to the farm and I'll see you all there. So we've just arrived on farm here and Ronnie is moving some silage out of the feed passage where we set up just so I can get in and uh, I should have said earlier before I left the house Ronnie and his brothers are actually the contractors who did the gabions at the back of our house and got it all prepared for the concrete so that's how I know Ronnie and uh, as I said I did, done the, did this bull last year he's a big limousine bull I've just been in to see him and I don't really think he's that excited to see me so let's get set up This bull is a little bit tender on one of his back feet. So this is part of his maintenance trim, so we're just getting it in time, hopefully before he's too bad. But these big bulls with lots of weight, their feet can give a bit of bother all of a sudden. the crush set up, it was time to have a go at getting this lovely limousine into the crush. Although this bull was having second thoughts as he quickly went into reverse. Well that was just a dream. It was as if that bull was just delighted to see me and he just runs straight in. He did try and go into reverse pretty quick before I got the back door closed. But we'll have him in now and let's get a look at these back feet first and see what's troubling them. As I was saying at the beginning of this video, this bull was trimmed around 12 months ago. So he's just ready for a routine trim. Those of you who would like a little eye test or to check your eyesight, comment below as soon as you see something in this outer claw that may have caused this bull to go slightly lame on this foot. Listen carefully here, and you may get a sound clue. Come out of that too. Yes. And yes, that was a stone brushing off my nice sharp knife. As a hoof trimmer, we quiver when we hear this sound. My thoughts here is that while this bull has been moved between pastures, he may have been on some stony lanes. And at some point, he has stood on a sharp little stone which has punctured the outer claw. That also resulted in some excess hoof growth 
and these layers which I'm stripping away. And as I trim away, this puncture, or the site of the puncture where it first originated, will become more obvious. And the most magical thing about this black magic glue is that blocks just appear exactly when you want them. <clears throat> the reason I went for a wooden block on this particular foot was that realistically I probably won't come back to recheck this bowl. By the time this wooden block has wore away in around four to six weeks, this lesion will have had enough time to rest and the puncture will have closed over. At this point of the trim, I'm just feeling around with my finger for the sharp edges, as these are really important that they're all removed. It is Ronnie, it has just punctured. Yeah, the weight, weight of them, you know. Aye, uh, shining at all. At the wrong angle. It'll be cool. After trimming the back left and finding stones, I wouldn't be surprised if we had the same issue in this foot. It's normal to have white line damage in these large bull's feet, just down to their sheer weight, as their hooves come under even more pressure as they mate with cows. And there it is, another piece of this hidden quarry. At this moment I just want to pressure test this outer claw. I don't think the puncture is as severe in this foot as it was in the other, but all the same I'm going to give this bull the benefit of the doubt during this routine trim. The main aim for a yearly check on a bull like this is to prevent him from going lame, and while he did have some stone damage in both these back feet, he wasn't severely lame on it, so really we have got to this animal in time before he went off his feet.
I'm quite satisfied that there's no need to go any deeper at cleaning out these black cracks. That's really just ground in dirt. The main reason for putting on this block is just to rest that slightly soft and pre-damaged white line. And just before I let this ball out of the crush, mm -hmm. I'm going um, to paint on some who, who are, gel, just because that car is Google slightly that exposed. Then, uh, to the So that's the bull trimmed and we just have one extra little cow to do here and that's us finished. The great thing that I like about the bull is he really appreciated our service. He didn't even dirty the crush. So this girl's in now, I haven't got her feet lifted. So hopefully she follows the trend and doesn't do what every cow normally does in the crush and try and turn it brown. If you're enjoying this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button like the video and also don't forget about the little bell for the notifications. I've just got this, li this little girl trimmed. Mm -hmm. I think she's ready to get out of the crush. We almost, we, we almost got away there. We almost got away. If we hadn't been talking we might have been able to get around. That's us running. Come on. That's Can you let me? Can you let me speak for two minutes? So that little girl needed a couple of blocks. Her hooves were a little bit soft, but she wasn't actually lame. So we got her and we got the bull in good time before they were visibly lame. Um, so she had to reverse out of the crush. She's going back to a field that direction. So just before I pack up and say goodbye to y'all, I am going to show you these cute little chaps which I seen on the way into the farm. So on my way into the farm here this morning I seen these excitable little things skipping about, quite joyful looking. So just before I leave the farm I just wanted to come over, record them and show you guys something different. The only thing is, I don't seem to see them now. I think they're a wee bit like Tom and they may enjoy an afternoon nap. Although Tom sometimes takes his before it's afternoon. It's a cool little salt course to have as well, isn't it? So folks, that's me finished up on this farm and in fact finished up for the day. So I love a short day like that. I get home early now, get all washed up and ready for tomorrow. Nice and early, which is it's um, not ideal working late every night. So uh, it's nice to get the oil early finish. Um, and this here, I'm just, this is the last scene that I'm gonna give you before I go. That's the rest of this herd out grazing along by this little inland lake. So that is a lovely view on a lovely day. Thanks for taking the time to tune in and watch this episode of Tech TV. We really appreciate it. And if you haven't already, consider hitting that subscribe button and come on the journey with us. Take care folks and see you all soon.